Hi everybody, Sherry Rosenthal here. Glad to be with you here today. We're going to talk about a really interesting subject, projecting. Something that we all do with non-awareness and hopefully by the end of this conversation we'll have awareness about it and not be projecting anymore. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's get going. So one of the most confusing aspects that we speak about on our spiritual path is about projecting. But before we speak about it, we need to clearly define it. So we could say that projecting is the process of externalizing and attributing an emotion or a motive, for example, unconsciously to someone or something else in order to avoid anxiety. Now this is really important, so I just want to say this again. It's a process of externalizing and attributing something externally to someone, someone or something else in order to avoid anxiety. Our anxiety. <laughs> so in other words, let's say you perceive someone doing something that your mind judges is not appropriate or is a flaw in their personality, according to you, of course. You may feel compelled to let them know that the way they're behaving is not correct, crazy, annoying, wrong, inappropriate, whatever. You might even have friends around you that actually agree with you, making your righteous indignation even stronger and compelling you and encouraging you to say whatever it is that you have on your mind to the other person. So the bottom line is this. It's not up to us to judge others to make ourselves feel more comfortable. And remember how I was saying in the definition of projecting that it's something we do to avoid anxiety? Well, when we see somebody doing or saying something that we don't like, we get uncomfortable because as soon as we judge, we have an emotional reaction to our judging, not to them, to what we think about them. This is key. So rather than not taking responsibility, the whole idea is that we do take responsibility, own what we're doing. That's key. We have to understand that the ego mind doesn't like to feel anxious, so it wants to get rid of that immediately and place it elsewhere, which is why we project in the first place. But the truth is that people do what they're going to do, and it isn't always what we want, wish, or hope for. We have to understand that. So, if you do not put your judgment on others, you won't have an emotional reaction to them. You won't take their words and deeds personally, and you won't need to justify your projecting of your feelings and judgments onto them just to make yourself feel better. So, as spiritual students, this behavior really is aberrant because if we're aware of the truth, which is that we're not victims of anyone or anything, we, we also are aware that taking the actions of others personally means that we believe others can hurt us, bother us, or do something bad to us, and that's not true. That's not true because we are in charge of our creation and of our projections. And the, the whole idea is to become aware of what's going on up here so we don't send that out here. So I challenge you this month to take action and stop yourself from projecting onto others. And if you do this, you're going to find that people want to be around you more because, let's face it, no one likes to be judged. It feels icky. So I encourage you to give this a try and post at the bottom of the newsletter and let me know what you think about this. Anyway, I always appreciate you 
Thank you for listening in. And I have a question. When am I going to see you on a spiritual journey? When am I going to be able to give you a hug in person? I'm waiting. Where are you? <laughs> anyway, I hope to see you really soon. I hope you're doing well as always. And many blessings to you. Have an awesome day.